All right, talk, talk to me a little bit about this. I, I talked with, with Robin Staines. I just talked with Linda chapel Avia that, that this this could, you know, you could see the Illinois model that other states, maybe even, you know, the Obama administration could be looking at what we just did to, to replicate? Well, I, I think because of the collaborative nature that those comments are being made. I mean, in a lot of states, as they begin to discuss reforms related to education, you see, uh, you know, this, this kind of clash that takes place. In this case, uh, we were able to come to an agreement with the major players. That, that's not been done around the country. I, I think that's probably what they're referring to. And, you know, the proof is going to be in the pudding here. Uh, just like any education reform, until you actually implement it to see if there are results. Uh, and I think there will be with this, but I, you know, I'd be real careful to replicate something that hasn't been <laughs> implemented yet. But, because as this is implemented, we're going to find little stumbling blocks. We're going to find little issues that, that are questions about uh, how to do it. I mean, we have already with some of the collective bargaining parts. So while this is something I support, it's groundbreaking, I think it's very, very, the potential is very, very good here. I'd be careful about spiking the football quite yet. What is it about Illinois? Why, why did you know Demo a Democratic legislature, a Democratic governor, uh, do something that, that you wouldn't naturally assume unions would want to go along? Uh, you're seeing Republican administrations in, in other states stumble and, and, I mean, you know, just, just look up what happened in Wisconsin. It's, it's, it's not necessarily apples to apples, no, no, but no. what about Illinois' approach makes it? Well, well, well I think the fact that uh, uh, the, there, are, there has been a collaboration here on other aspects regarding performance. We did Senate Bill 315 in a collaborative manner, and that's the foundation for the, the, the work that this bill does. We said we should, in our state, count student performance when we evaluate teachers. And we passed a comprehensive bill, trying to get, albeit, race to the top money, which we did not win. We, we set that foundation there. Now all we're doing is we're implementing it in a way that kind of expands on the agreement. Yes, we want to do this, and here's how we want to do it. So while the devil is in the details, all of the people involved in that were part of the process, and they, they get, the give and take that, that, that it took kind of just went, reflected back on our original agreed upon decision that yes, we should. And the teachers agreed to that back in Senate Bill 315. They didn't disagree with a, a substantial part of their evaluation and principals' evaluations having to do with whether students perform well. They, they agreed with it then. We had to work out the technicalities of how to apply it, and they were very good about you know, uh, helping us achieve what I think is has a lot of potential. As as a Republican legislator uh -huh. who's been here for a while, did you ever think that you would see, you know, if, if, if five years ago somebody would have said, you know, in the year 2011 we're going to have, you know, agreed upon legislation to make it tougher to strike and easier to fire a teacher, Democrats are going to are going to help lead it through, and the unions aren't going to throw that big of a fit. Well, I, I think, yeah, I. I, I I think at some point or another, whether you're a Democrat or Republican, a union member or management or, or really a parent, or you have to recognize the fact that um, the country is moving toward a more accountable system for public educators. And uh, we've heard vouchers, we've heard charters, we've seen all these movements when this gives us the opportunity really to, to pro provide all children with the kind of improvement that everybody said that they wanted. So I, I, I guess maybe how quickly it happened, but I think we've been moving in this direction. And remember, there's lots and lots of hours and time and collaboration that has gone into this. And, and Senator Lightford did a terrific job. I, I know we, we had days of testimony up in Aurora in the House on our side before uh, Christmas. So this just didn't happen, but um, I'm just really happy it did. I, I never lost faith that we could all get there because these are good people. I mean, I've worked with uh, the IEA and the IFT on, on bills uh, ever since I've been here. And um, they want to protect, and they should. Teachers shouldn't be mistreated. We shouldn't set up a process where just higher paid teachers can somehow be dismissed. And that's what they were in there fighting for. They, they didn't want, uh, you know, especially in tough economic times, the, the decisions to be based on cost. They wanted to be based on what's best for kids. They brought up some legitimate points that, that uh, were, were worked into this. Um, so, no, I, just because I know the people that have been involved in this, it doesn't surprise me we can come up with something like this.